Nikoen received a warm welcome back to work by his peers as they showered him with balloons, chocolates and cake. The BBC presenter was overwhelmed by the jubilant display and revealed he had also received plenty of cards while he had been on leave. Nick retweeted photos uploaded by his co-star Joanne Mallon that showed his desk adorned with decorations and sweet treats. He typed, thanks to all my wonderful work colleagues who made such a fuss of my return. I was stunned. And thanks to everyone kind enough to send cards while I have been away. Strictly's Johannes says it's never easy saying goodbye as he addresses exits, latest, I can assure you they are greatly appreciated, he added. The 75-year-old, who celebrates 50 years in broadcasting in November, was told he had prostate cancer in April. But now, after what he described as one of the worst days of his life the broadcaster admitted he was feeling good and looking forward to being back. Nick shared with Bromsgrove Post, I'm a bit fragile still but so much better than I've been in the last few months. Don't miss. Rylan says NHS on its knees as he makes desperate plea after mum's surgery, latest, Darius Danish's family say he had severe pain before Star found unresponsive, news, Rachel Stevens fires back over expectations when she did Strictly, update, so this is a landmark time for me. Nick has hosted the regional news program since 1997 and said he thought going back on air after an extended break would feel quite strange. He added, I'm slightly apprehensive, but once I've done the first one it's like the old getting back on your bike again, it should be fine. But it is slightly daunting, the thought of it. I think my heart will be beating that little bit faster than usual. He is awaiting the results of his first PSA test since having an operation, which he hopes will give him the all clear. It's a bit of a tense time waiting to hear, he said. Nick is famous for his TV work, in particular, co-hosting BBC One program, Good Morning with an and Nick, with Anne Diamond in the 1990s, 